When we arrived here in Whitefish in August of 2010, um, I really didn't know what the inside of the Red Caboose was going to look like. You know, it was a diner before, so it was a total diner vibe, booths everywhere, and um, really, I knew I wanted to do something totally different. And basically, the vision was what inspires me. Like, that fueled everything. Like, I wanted a place that inspired me and I knew that if I could could get to that that would be inspiring to other people um, so I just started scouring the blogs and magazines and just things that inspire me so I came across a trolley cart and um, some really really neat reclaimed wood bar stools and that really just gave me a vision of of what we wanted to do in here, which is mm -hmm. the reclaimed wood. And we're in Montana and um, just had a, a just a great opportunity to meet meet a guy that that's what he does. He tears down barns and um, was able to, to bring those elements inside here. So it's really like the outside elements mm -hmm. bringing them in. And, and not just barn wood, but also corrugated tin from the barns yeah. for the ceiling and for some of the wall and then also some rock from near Libby, Montana for the fireplace. And it has all the cool algae on it, and moss yeah. and all that. So there are a few really, really cool little surprises in here. Do we have just some certain elements that are totally one of a kind? No one could ever duplicate it and we, we wouldn't be able to duplicate it. So um, it kind of comes with the territory of just using reclaimed materials. But one element that I love is the piece of wood that is above our menu board. I love it. Just the detail, it's uneven, and I just thought it was just a scrappy piece of wood. But um, actually, horses have chewed on it, and it's amazing. I just love the detail of, of that wood piece. It's awesome. Well, one of my favorite, favorite things about our construction, one of them was the candy canisters. Um, I love them, they're mm. so much fun. Lots of color and just the whimsy aspect of what we've done with this place. You know, our three visionary words were rustic, modern, industrial, but I wanted to just infuse a little bit of whimsy. So that really comes in with the candy canisters. It's like the Willy Wonka of Whitefish, Montana, so. Well, with some of the artwork in here, we wanted to feature some local artists, some mm -hmm. photographers and that kind of thing, and actually sell it. Um, so one guy actually took uh, reclaimed wood and paints like really, really cool signs, mm -hmm. whether it's like of big mountain runs or that sort of thing, or things to do with the railway. Um, and those are really, really unique and cool. And then also, another photographer has taken like action shots of skiing and um, of glacier. And then we hope to feature Kelly's photography as well mm -hmm. in the future. So that should be cool as well. Yeah, I think that's definitely part of just the creativity in here. Mm -hmm. It's ongoing. You know, it's in the building structure, but it's also like on our walls. Um, and even being entrepreneurs and just artists ourselves, we wanted to feature that and not just our own, but really embrace the community and um, just really hone in on, in on that as well. Customer service is so very, very important to us. Um, mm -hmm. With backgrounds, both of us, just backgrounds in customer service and working at restaurants or coffee shops, that is like the heart of the Red Caboose. We want people to come in here and have a great experience. You know, obviously love our product, but just feel at home and feel welcomed. And so that first experience starts as soon as you walk in the door. And the, the very first person that is greeting you or not greeting you, um, even if you had a killer product, you know, that customer service aspect of it is just super, super important. So that's really the heart of of what we're doing, for sure. You know, being community-minded and really want to get into our community, but also relationships are super important to us. So um, we want to build those, and people are just very important to this. So I think with our coffee, we sampled a bunch of different coffee from all over the country, really. Mm -hmm. um, and we landed on Coulter Coffee here in Kalispell. And then also we're going to feature some Stumptown from Portland, 
And awesome coffee. <clears throat> yeah, so we just want, we want great coffee, great espresso, um, top quality chocolates and all the syrups and that sort of thing. Um, and then we did the same thing, you know, with the yogurt. We sampled it all over and we're going to make our own recipes as well. And I think the reason why, you know, we picked the Red Caboose, um, and it's right here at 103 Central um, on the main drag, um, just really there's no place to hang out after 6 o'clock in Whitefish. I mean, if you have a family, you can only go bowling so many times before you get tired of it. I mean, there's no place to hang out. Um, so that was really what kind of inspired, mm -hmm. you know, just, yes, frozen yogurt and coffee, but also an experience and a place to hang that's comfortable um, after you go skiing or out on the lake or whatever um, or if you're in town visiting from Canada or wherever so so seriously come in come experience the red caboose frozen yogurt and coffee um, we'd love to meet you I'm Kelly this is Reed and we are always here and um, yeah just come in and say hi we'd love we'd love to see you